Raouf? That's who I'm talking about, Raouf. Raouf, the three-point champion that was just dropping like 20 a night, and then he got put out the league. Hitting with a black magician. Hmm. Look, Adolf Hitler was a bad motherfucker. Adolf Hitler worked his way up from the dirt. Same way Joseph Stalin. No, Vladimir Lenin. Lenin worked his way up from the dirt. He studied his way to greatness. When you read the story, everybody say he all he was doing was studying the problems of his country. The whole communist regime was funded by America the whole time. The Cold War was because they wasn't going to never bomb on each other because America was bankrolling Russia the whole time. Uh, I'm really great, but yeah. The, uh, the inmates, they're going to have to get what you call a cutout. A cutout is to keep them from recidivism. It is to uh, reorganize their life. And most of them won't be going back to their old community because they're going to have to start over and they're going to have to uh, uh, be reoriented into society without being under the jurisdiction of these people. We didn't need prisons. So whatever the fuck we need prisons for now, we can fix that shit. Mm -hmm. Prisons ain't, in America ain't 200 years old yet. Might not be 150. First prison was built in Pennsylvania. French capital. Then over there in Europe, they had dungeons. We have dungeons over here in our castle. We lock no motherfucker up in the basement. <laughs> That's some real cocky ass, sadistic bullshit. And you know what that take me right back to is that uh that show um, Lovecraft. Like we talk about that show every time I talk to you. But yeah, that. And then when you were talking about how they they uh they picked your blood to basically steal your rights. And that's what that show was about too. And and then even the first jails with them like them dungeons. It's it's so crazy how they put it back. They give us a, they give us our history right back in our face and all of they they outputs. Look, if they can't guarantee your safety while you in prison, they're not supposed to keep you in prison. And guess what? They can't guarantee nobody in safety that's in there. So how they gonna keep that's, that's right there alone by itself is the forfeiture of their jurisdiction as the Department of Corrections. No, they really can't. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's dangerous as hell, man. Man, motherfuckers get stabbed, raped, beat the fuck up, kicked downstairs, bopped in the head with mop handles, all kind of shit. They can't keep you safe in there. Not at all. You come out that motherfucker looking like a pin cushion or a pinata. <laughs> and looking 20 years older than what you were or what you are. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to come out of, out of prison preserved, not motherfucking stressed the fuck out worse than you was in the street. Right. <laughs> I always said on nobody for real. So the question about the umbilical cord around the neck, sometimes the baby uh, is in the uterus is moving around and they'll sometimes wrap the, the umbilical cord around the neck so when they come out it's all it's wrapped around their neck from them moving in this in the uterus. Like I remember hearing my mom talk to my father, I'm jumping around in there like a monkey. Uh. When she was pregnant, because I was doing backflips off the side of the uterus. <laughs> I was having a blast, shit. And then primordial water. Yeah. Uh, appreciate the question, Spooky Bay. Uh okay. It's a good one. Let me see what this one's about. Medusa was a Psy priestess. That's why her name is Medusa. Medu in Egypt is 10. 10 is the highest rank. Psy, mm. look up the Psy symbol. It's the birth priestesses were Psy priestesses. So when they say Medusa, they saying that she is the highest rank of the, of the Psy priestesses, which are known as the birth priestesses or the doulas. They were the uh, Gorgon priestesses by uh, by tribal affiliation in Greece. 
that's what the Greeks referred to the three sisters as the Gorgons. And so um, Medusa is actually the leader of the Gorgon. Now we got to flip to the right side up to get to the right side of the infinity loop to send to the 5D. Mm -hmm. Right? So now we're seeing to the 5D because I'm telling the motherfucker everything you need to know to get his shit straight. I don't care if they talk about me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's their personal problem. That's right. That's facts. <laughs> if, they really, if they really had a real issue, they'd pull the fuck up. I ain't hard to find. All right. I ain't hard to find. I heard but that. I'm going to tell them everything they need to do to get their own shit together. This shit right. is over with. Uh -huh. right. But they don't no got to believe me, but when they watch, they're going to see. That's right. There's no doubt about it. Right? So, mama said, the job going to be hard, but you're a hard worker. That's right. I said, what that means? She said, you smart, you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so that picks me off as usual. <laughs> Ain't that smart? <laughs> I know a whole bunch of motherfuckers are smarter than me. They ain't got no motherfucking way though. Apparently. I heard, I heard, I heard, or, I heard. They don't know how to put the puzzle together, apparently. I don't got to be smarter than them to be skilled at putting the puzzle together. Right. I been put, my mama had me putting puzzles together since I could walk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's naturally like a second talent for putting together puzzles. Mm hmm. Right. You got to give yourself more credit than that. You got to give yourself more credit than that because there's a whole bunch of pretenders out you. And let, yeah. them keep, let them keep pretending and we're going to keep winning. That's right. <laughs> I, 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 I just be tell it like it is. I mean, shit, I can't do no more than that. I can only tell it like it is. They don't have to like it. They don't have to agree with me. Yeah. Right? right. I don't have to give a fuck and I can continue to be right. That's right. right. And they can be wrong as they want to be. That's right. I got no problem with that. I don't mm -hmm. got nothing to do with me. They got their own journey to walk. Mm -hmm. you know, right. They got their own um, um, mishaps to fall through. That's mm -hmm. real. That's mm -hmm. real. You know? That's real. So all you got to do is say true to yourself. They going to wake up sooner or later. That's right. Yeah. On one side of life <laughs> or the other. Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yep. Hi. Maybe like them when I be nutting up on here for some reason. I don't like to be nut up. It's in us, bro. It's in the real one. It's in the real one. It's something that resonates right or right. It resonates. Right or right. We get a thrill out of it. And some of us think we need to suppress that all the way. But no, we got to let that stay close to us, you know? We just got to master it. It's the gorilla key. The gorilla key is called the fuck it key. Yep. Yes. Love it. Yep. I said, Daddy, what are we going to do about the people down there? Fuck them. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. As long as they don't come down here, fuck them. Right. That's right. They, for this they can kiss when the sun don't shine, or they can kiss the sun itself. It don't matter to me. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just do what I do. I love it. I heard that. I love it. I heard that. Mm -hmm. You can love everybody. Try to. <laughs> Some some ain't even capable. Of I ain't it. even try to love everybody, but I'ma love everybody that love me. No, yeah, yeah, no, that's for sure. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. that's all for that sure. love your enemy shit, that's mama shit. That ain't mine. Oh, no, I, I, <laughs> didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean that the enemy part. But I, I mean respect my adversary oh, if he's a worthy opponent. Right, right. I respect my adversary if you're worthy opponent. You, you got to. You better. But if he ain't, if he's just somebody that like an uh, ankle biter, chasing the mailman. Yeah. I, I walk with big motherfucking big dogs. That shit don't move me. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it don't move me. My give a fuck meter just will not move for that shit. Yeah, I heard that, bro. I love it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Man, this is amazing. This is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm truly grateful for this opportunity to sit and visit with you, my brother, for real. For real, for real. And I, I want to um, say thank you for offering that insight um, to my question. You know, I mean, 
it just from an early child, it just resonated with me that I was in a very special place. Um, the, 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 the energy and the love, because that's where people came from around the world to experience the hospitality that we give just from our hearts, you know, that we gave from this gentrification and doing what it's doing here. Uh, you know, but it's still, even in this day of time, people still rave about New Orleans and how, how, the reception that they get and how much the people love them. But the crazy part is we love the people from somewhere else more than we're going to love each other right there in our own city, you hear me? No, 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 I don't believe that. Try to take Mardi Gras from New Orleans and see how that works. <laughs> That's all you got to do if you think I'm bullshit. No, no, I get you on that. I'm just talking about on a day-to-day -day basis. Somebody yeah. can come from somewhere else, right? Come through the city and the people will open them, take them in with open arms, feed them, drink them, whatever they're going to do, right? But they ain't got no time for somebody that sounds just like them. That might come from... Well, no uptown, why? and they come from downtown, uh, vice versa, you feel me? This is why. Because if your family don't fuck with you like that, they don't mm -hmm. trust you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't trust you. Just because mm -hmm. you might be you might be from the other side of town. They want to know, nigga, why you ain't hanging out with your family, with your cousins and them? No, that's why you real. Over here with, why you over here with us? That's real. Y'all, you, you supposed to be over there with your people. Why you over here with my people? Nigga, what's, mm -hmm. what's your angle, nigga? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mama, I don't know if I can trust that nigga. He gonna, he gonna fuck with his family enough. Mm -hmm. He ain't close enough to his people, so how he can't be that close to us? Mm -hmm. You know? That's how New Orleans see past the immediate connection to the deeper connection. Mm -hmm. If your family don't trust you, my family not gonna trust you either. Mm -hmm. Right? And they get you know, push to the fringes of the family from, so now they're trying to find somewhere else. So New Orleans know how to lead each other. No, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Two niggas from New Orleans can meet up in Alaska and know exactly what the fuck going on without saying a word. No, that's that's real, bro. I mean, for real. That's real. And, and one of them go. And I'm going to go. And be gone about their business. They had a whole conversation. New Orleans style. Right. 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 Especially as they get older in the country. Right. right. It, so when you come from out of town, you could be a wayfarer or a traveler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they extend the hospitality to the outside. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Your hospitality first must come from you. If you if your family love you and, and be want you always come and shit, then they gonna all want you to come to their shit too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The harder your family pulling them away from you, the harder they gonna pull on you. Mm -hmm. But when you don't fuck with your people, they don't fuck with you. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's and that's why you had to go learn New Orleans to know how to navigate anywhere else in the country. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Everything stink. All of the, the richness of the cultures, that's the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. The big easy. Right. That's true. You know, all of these other cities just got different names. Chicago, the city of thieves, aka Thibs, Egypt. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right? Uh -huh. Tricky yeah. with the language. Remember, we were talking about that English in the baby? Right. 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 With the language. No doubt right. about it. They was telling us it's the city of thieves all the time. We was thought they were saying thieves because the motherfucker steals something. <laughs> Shit, when you first said it, that's what I thought you were saying. Too, I was like, yeah, you never heard that one. <laughs> Chicago will muscle your ass for they steal it from you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. They'll take it from you for they steal it from you. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. The same with Detroit. Mm -hmm. They'll take it from you for they steal it from you. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean they don't got some thieves. Right. Right. But the, then you got the ones that understand that they a thief. They don't. They not small time no more. Mm -hmm. Like like in Chicago, they call them cannons. They still on the high end shit. Why would I oh. listen to that old broke ass lady down there? I ain't no rogue. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. If heard I'm gonna steal something, if I'm gonna steal something, I want something big. Shit, mm -hmm. I want to get it from a motherfucker that got insurance. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know so. So I can go use it for my benefit and insurance is gonna take care of them. Them dirty motherfuckers need to pay somebody something. All these mm -hmm. goddamn premiums and shit. Right. Mm -hmm. And they don't wanna have to do a payout when the time come to pay. 
Mm-hmm. Sitting on big coffers of money. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. We set our family banks up. We have our own family insurance company. That's right. Waka Waka. That's mm-hmm. right. You know? Yeah. That's why New Orleans that big ass boot. My ass kicking. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Michigan is the right hand for slapping the motherfuckers across the face for thinking we was dumb. Heard that? Heard that? <laughs> I just talk with a country accent sometimes. I ain't really motherfucking slow. Mm. Country accent don't equal slow, motherfucker. It just means that you yeah. speak the wrong language. Dumb. Right. So I drag your ass up yonder, to leave you parked out bitch side that motherfucking log over there. <laughs> 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 Law man might find you if you can make them up, make it to the road again. Mm. I'm just saying. You got to know the land. You got to know the layout. You have to understand how your people move. That's right. And then they go, oh, I can, oh he, he one of the chiefs. I know who the fuck he is talking like that talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so, you know what it is. <laughs> now get my fried chicken and cone bread and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, big bro. So great. I heard that. Man, I mean. Look, my most prominent past life memory overlap multiple past lives is one of my favorite memories. It happened mm-hmm. over and over again. Go to Big Mama house, I'm a little boy. She go in the kitchen, she pulled the cloth off the bowl, and one bowl got a squares of cornbread, and the other bowl got fried chicken legs. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Both of them hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they keep them out there for the for the people coming in from coming passing through because Big Mama gonna make sure you eat something before you leave. Oh, that's right. And, just, and we ain't have uh, what we call a uh, uh, candy stores, mm-hmm. right? We didn't have snacks like that, like oh, that right. and shit. So they would get we would fuck some cornbread up all day long. <laughs> you know that's right. You know, my great grandmother would boil some corn at ten o'clock at night. That'd be your snack. And you Take the husk mm-hmm. off and everything and pour the corn. And pull the husk back like a like a popsicle stick. <laughs> Roll it around in the butter. Man, oh yeah. <laughs> you better tell somebody. People might be like, "Don't you spill that butter on my floor?" I just got done mopping. <laughs> so me and my wife was had this question too, bro. And I know this is a little bit off the beaten path for you. But back in the D, I don't care when you went by Big Mama house, she going to whip up. First of all, the house going to be immaculate, right? Then if you hungry, she going to go in there and have something already fixed. All the time. And you're going to love what she have fixed already. Yeah, because she no microwave, no microwave, no nothing. No nothing. Big Mama has 50 motherfuckers coming through the every hour. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> No, I never thought about it from that That's aspect. True. Thank you for that enlightenment. <laughs> she she always got a new pot of something cooking when something just got done. So when people come, they eat all that shit up and something for the next person. Right. But That's everybody true. used to go out to Big Mama Farm and help her put the food up. And she got 15 aunties in the back, snapping peas, shucking corn, uh, cutting corn off the cob for the fried corn meals. <laughs> Got the motherfuckers milling the corn, all that shit going on in the big yard, big mama backyard. Yeah, you're right. So then they came over, turned them into concentration camps for POWs. They took my mama name out of Big Mama House and just called it the Big House. Mm, I heard that. Okay. Like you ain't stupid to see what the fuck you doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You can't hand me my coat and tell me you gave me something. Right. That's true. Right. Motherfucker, it's already my coat. What the fuck? Right. right. <laughs> it's already my coat. Right. Right. Yeah, but that, they had all that going on. And the uncles, they be out there fixing on, well, back then, they were fixing on different stuff, horse carriages in the south. Mm-hmm. So, it ain't like we couldn't make power motherfucking vehicles. It's just that right. it was more compatible and uh, equitable for the land for us mm-hmm. to horse mm-hmm. in the carriage. Mm-hmm. Right. We had electrical shit. The first cars was made by us and they was electrical and we only would use them to go far distances. 
Why they mm-hmm. I don't understand why they got to keep charging these cars up when back then we had electrical cars that'll run for months before you need to charge. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 And sometimes with the charges, all you gotta do is put water in your motherfucking um battery. Uh-huh. You're supposed to produce a longer some water in that the long as that liquid is keeping that conduction going, you're supposed to have electricity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, some shit called a lithium battery. Mm-hmm. That's not smart. Mm-hmm. No. Not sustainable. You took some real simple shit and made it complicated so you can get more money for it. That's what it all goes back to. That's what it all goes back to. That's why the plan is such and everything, because of the because they took all the all the technology that was compatible with the mother, they corrupted it. Bastardize it just to, to, to monetize it. Yep. But that's all right. It's all right. Because as Tupac say, back for everything they own, no longer oppressed. So now we overthrow those that placed us in this rotten mess. It's a wrap for their ass. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I love it. Yeah, you're right. I love it. It's a great time to be alive, my brother. It's, it's a great, great time, time to be alive. Great I don't time. care what they keep pumping up through that propaganda. Mm. You know, they just pumping that fear. But if they try so hard to get that fear into you, that the opposite got to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? The opposite Look, got yeah. to be because they're spending too much money to make you afraid. Right. That whole World Trade Center stuff was to slow everything down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It, was it was the mass trauma. No doubt about it. Definitely. No doubt about She's it. She's starting to wake up. Hurry up. Traumatize them. Fly plane into the building. Mm. But that was really not three on the um, Scottish right telling us that we only got a certain amount of time before they try to make their move to take over. Right. I heard that. I heard that. Because the first one was the first World Trade Center in 91. Mm-hmm. Then it was the federal building in 94, 95. Mm-hmm. And then it was the 9-11. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Three, three knocks. Yeah. Right. And then when the third knock, they stole a couple billion tons of gold from under the World Trade Center. Mm. Yeah. That's why. That's why they had to blow that motherfucker up. Uh huh. Wow. Because of the amount of wealth it was the George Bush family, George Herbert Walker Bush reported that. And, and, and the president and the- between him and Trump, he owned them. I heard that. Trump refused to report to him, and um, the electorate knew that it was coming to close of the age. Mm-hmm. But before Trump could take power, they had to get rid of Bush. Because mm-hmm. Bush, Bush was running the CIA, um, and they had intelligence, secret intelligence connections around the world. Mm-hmm. And he was the highest ranked uh, member of the invaders that came over here on this part of the land. Mm. He mm-hmm. came in as a press guy, but he became a bush. Uh-huh. Right? They came in as bankers, but his uh the old man press guy told him to go into the intelligence community. Uh-huh. You say because that's the only way he was going to be able to sink his fingers deep enough in to the society to take it over. Mhm. Mhm. So the skull and bones was the ones that was backing him. And skull and them was the pirates. Okay. Conquistadors. Yay. Spanish Moorish. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So them the ones who was the power source behind his operation. They thought because we went into a Kali Yuga to do the kinds of two hundred year kinds of war that they were just going to be able to do what they want. Right. Mm-hmm. But the, man, the mind of man can never circumscribe the mind of God. Hell no. Mm-hmm. So why ain't sitting there thinking they're going to go to war with God? Them some silly motherfuckers. Right. You're going to be big mama no matter how you try it. Because right. she got a boy for every last one of you motherfuckers to put you back on your plate. That's right. No matter where you come from, no matter how big and bad you think your ass is, one of her boys... Go step up to the plate and find the problem. Right. And we don't know what the problem is. We're going to all pick a different tr- part of the problem to try to fix. Mm-hmm. According to what we already know. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. right. I'm just got a habit of putting together the puzzles and got a habit of reading the culture. I heard that. Right. Learn life. Y'all know the rules. Got to do what you got to do. 
yeah. No doubt about it. You know, so I just paid attention to shit most motherfuckers don't pay attention to. My monkey man, they was playing monkey in the middle when I was catching the key. Yeah, I heard that, bro. But your recall, your recall is amazing. It's, it's amazing. I mean, that's 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 God level, no doubt about it. For sure. I mean, it's woo, there's consuming information. There's there's comprehending the information that you consume. Then there's recalling that information at the appropriate time. Right. And then beyond thought, my brother. I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> they always say we not from monkeys. Ain't nobody never said we was from monkeys. I said that the Adonai called us monkeys. <laughs> See, there they go. There they go. <laughs> they can't even get the information right. Right. I said the Anunnaki called us monkeys. And that's why our priest was called monks. But then he took that little bit of mist part they heard and ran the whole world again with him. Yeah, he got his own uh, He heard what he wanted to hear instead of what right. he said. Right. But that's okay. Everybody ain't supposed to come. <laughs> 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 that motherfucker probably looked just like a goddamn ape in the face. Talking about whipping monkeys. He probably looked more like a monkey way. than everybody else. He was feeling some type of way. <laughs> 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 Shit, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. These motherfuckers don't know what they be doing. They just be talking, barking, talking outside of their neck. That shit be funny to me sometimes. I'd be like, what were these motherfuckers? Grab them. <laughs> yeah, he got his banana in the tailpipe. There you go. There you go. <laughs> the brain is the tailpipe that's clogged up. <laughs> he don't even know. He don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to have corn festivals, mm. corn, meal, corn dishes from all over the land. I remember I got to be the judge one time. Well, wow, he's so much cooler than I thought I was going to grow out the motherfucking stalk. <laughs> man, you better not say nothing bad about no corn with these grits. All the grits I done ate my life, man. You better not say nothing bad about no corn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit, I fucked some grits up, too, with some eggs. Ooh, Ooh. I can get up right now and go fix some grits and eggs. What you talking about? <laughs> 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 well, I remember waking up early on some Sunday mornings, and Big Mama be cooking, or Mama be cooking, and you can smell that Malik. cooking in the kitchen. What you mean? Sunday mornings, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. grits and sugar. Don't just don't forget the butter. Oh yes. Yeah, bro. But you know, down south, I ain't never heard of sugar and grits until I went north. No, I'm thinking hey, I was look. Third, the first time I heard of sugar and grits, and I'm looking at them like they're crazy. What you mean, sugar and your grits? You know, before before Gerber came out, we was the babies used to eat pot liquor and grits, pot liquor and cornbread. Wow, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I heard that. I heard pot that. liquor and, and, and different kinds of uh, breads. Then make it mash it up. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. To the little babies. That's true. Uh -huh. I remember all that shit like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, man. I used to cook and butter on rice. I got that from India, though, from one of my lives over there. What's ah. that? Um, oh, butter and sugar on rice. Butter, sugar, and rice. I heard that. Now we need yeah. eggs and rice, too, now. Yeah, when, I, when I was a baby, that was my thing. Yeah? Yeah. I, I was past life from... They got a meal they make in India that's similar to that. Mm. Oh, okay. But it's it's made with ghee butter, sugar, and then it got some kind of like little spice, a little hint of spice in it. Uh huh. Yeah. When I was little, I used to remember it because I used to always be asking for it. But they used to mm. give me butter, sugar, and um, put it in my rice when I be asking for it. Because they didn't know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, but they didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> So I used to be testing with like, I'd be like, I want the rice with the butter and the sugar. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they use they use I think they might use honey over there. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah, but it was it was sweet rice with a little mm. uh, bit of spice to it. Mm. Uh -huh. It's made in India. Yeah. Oh wow. I have to know. Man, oh man. That milk toast, you put the cornbread in the milk too. 
Uh, put cornbread and milk. No, no. cornbread. Yeah, cornbread and buttermilk. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I bet I said my grandmother would have ate. I bet she would have ate that. Yeah. <laughs> my father still, my father ate that up to the end. He ate, he ate all that shit. That's his, that was his thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cornbread and buttermilk. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. He didn't like a lot of sweets. Uh-huh. You know, so he he eat that uh, cornbread and buttermilk cause with a good touch of sugar in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it's so um, tart. Yeah. We messed that up too. When I was little, we used to eat cornbread and buttermilk. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All that stuff that's a uh, carryover culture that we genetically remember. But we don't be knowing where we get it from. Right. These right. children come out asking for stuff that you ain't never cooked and you want to know why in the hell is they asking for that? They remember it from past lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and, and, and then it's like taking a comfort food. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I wouldn't eat beets when I was little, but I, 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 I'll fuck some beets up right now. But it's a, <laughs> it's a sympathetic connection with my mother. 